Good day everyone and welcome back to Continents. It's episode 11 and ow. Today I've come prepared and we are going to be doing a lot of stuff today. We will be doing a lot of big projects today. And now remember, every time you need to do a lot of big projects at once, just sacrifice quality. Now this is obviously a joke because there is no quality to be sacrificed with my builds. Well, but the first thing we need to do isn't actually regarding the builds themselves, it's regarding the tools we will use for them. I have actually done that thing with that tool. The thing that I needed to do is enchant my axe and specifically enchant it with mending because I've gone through like three axes at this point and I just can't keep making any more because yeah, it's, it's very wasteful, so it's better just give it a mending. So I decided to go to Melson's. Oh god, is it laggy here. Well, yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's a cat. That's cute. I didn't remember there being a cat, but there's a cat. And let me also steal some melons if there are any. Actually... No, that's not enough to sell it to the villager, is it? Oh, well, I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna meet you back at the base. So, I'm back and I've enchanted the Ice Goober. Now, I've not only given it the mending, but I was also down in the XP farm and tried my luck with the enchanter and it actually went well. It gave me efficiency for, that's what I was aiming for. But with it, it also gave me fortune free, not sure what I'll use that for, but alright. And it gave me unbreaking free, which is exactly what I wanted with the axe, because we are going to be using it a lot. I also decided to put an unbreaking free on my shovel, so that's good. Because I realized that I didn't have any unbreaking when I was building this, and that's why I had to... Repair my shovel so much, and that's why it was so annoying to build with this dirt. And we will be building with dirt today, so it's better that I actually have unbreaking on that. Why is there sh actually thinking about this? This is a massive plane where things like sheep can just spawn, which is great. We will use that a lot. Or at least I think so, because we'll need a farm. I mean, we have this farm, and it's actually working very well. I have way too much bread at this point. But yeah, we might need a farm for animals. But what are we going to be doing now? Well, deforestation. Ex Goober, take it away. That was such a goofy transition. I'm never doing that again.
So, we're done. And you may be asking, just why did I clear an entire forest, damage an entire ecosystem, and probably kill a bunch of squirrel families? Well, the reason for that is quite simple, and that is to make space for tire farming. Yeah, we need, we need space here. And the plan is that I will have to terraform this entire part here. This entire area that I have cleared of trees will have to be terraformed because it doesn't look good at the moment. And the second reason is because I want some custom trees. I will, of course, replant the trees, but not in the way you may imagine. Oh, there's a sapling here. Not like I have enough of those, so I'm gonna pick that up. But I want to replant these trees, but not in the way you might imagine. I want to make custom trees. And that's going to be expensive. That's true, but at least I have some wood now, I, I think. But to make custom trees, I need to clear out the normal natural ones. So I decided to clear them out. And now I think the best idea would be to just work on the terraforming. Because you can't plant a tree if you don't have ground for it. And yeah, all of this needs to be terraformed. Things like this just don't look good. By the way, this is the top of the tunnel there. And there are caves everywhere here and the terrain is very chaotic. It just needs to be completely remodeled. And considering what I'm planning to do here, well, it will be needed to remodel this. And also it is completely annoying to walk up this because you can't, it's very much just bad. Oh hey, sheep. I could take those and make a farm for them, but something tells me that there will be more of them at some point, so I don't have to rush it. But now I think the best idea would be to plan this out, because yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to proceed with this. I think I'll keep some characteristics of the older terrain because for example this mountain I don't want to mine down, I just want to clear it and maybe go one layer over it with normal dirt and grass. So yeah it looks like a normal mountain or small mountain. and. The main thing that I need to do here is, well, make the area where these cliffs kind of reach the ocean, or this plane reaches the ocean, I need to make that more smooth, because, yeah, as I've said, it looks horrible. And it would be great to continue this kind of plane all the way there to where the bridge um, pillars are all the way to the ocean. So yeah, that's the plan. I also need to make this area here better around my base and I need to blend this terrain from the mountain there, the, this dirt here. I need to blend it into this terrain here. So there's a lot to do here regarding the terraforming. Fortunately, terraforming is quite quick when compared to like building buildings so yeah that's the that's the good thing but still it's going to be difficult also i will definitely keep some of these small lakes because they look good and they are special to this part of the map or actually maybe not i think there should be some yeah, there's a very long net of lakes here. And I don't think I'll be touching that because that's too far, but who knows, we'll see. My dirty hands will destroy every part of this map. So yeah, I'd smooth this out. 
I think I'll go all the way here to actually make the river here, as we wanted last time. And... Yeah, because I need to make this turn in here. So I think I could do that. And... The main, main part of this video is to... Or the main point is to make some of those custom trees. So... We'll see how that works out. If we have enough time to make those. Because if not, then it's just another terraforming episode, which I'm not sure if everyone wants. But it is there is something satisfying about watching terraforming be done in a time lapse. Well, I'll stop talking about that. And I'll start thinking out just how this should look. And maybe planning some things out. This should be... Interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Mainly I hope it goes well and I also hope that I have enough dirt for it. I don't have any dirt at the base so I'll have to mine some... Uh oh. Well this is the exact thing I'm talking about. There are caves everywhere and sometimes you fall into one and you get killed. Well, we are here to fix that. So, enjoy the time lapse of the fixing stuff. Yay, that's going to be like 20 hours. So, I wanted to give you a break from the time-lapse and just tell you that I've made all of the lines and basically their function is to plan out the layers and where stuff will go and now what's left is to fill out these gaps and yeah this was difficult and it it's taken me like three days now to build and I'll need to take a break next episode. I'll talk about that more later after the time-lapse. But yeah, we've done a lot 
of stuff now. And I'll need to gather a lot more dirt for these gaps. Because now with these lines, just with these lines, I've gone through, I don't know, like three double chests of dirt. At least so, from my calculations. So, yeah, that's that. But I've preserved all of the stuff I wanted to preserve. For example, this lake. I will leave this here. And then there are two lakes here. And there will be one. Oh, there already is. I filled it up with water. So I preserved this because it just looks so good. And I also preserved the ravine there. Let me just get there if I don't fall in. Yes, this ravine, I preserved it, and that's because, well, this bridge, I need, I want to leave this bridge here, and also I don't want it to look weird. So, I preserved that, and I also preserved this spike, because it looks very cool. So yeah, that's that, and let's go back to the time lapse, and let's get all these holes filled in which is going to be very tedious and will take long, but, well, it needs to be done and at least I'll be able to walk here without falling through. So, you may be asking why I'm up at the bridge, and the reason for that is there's a good view of what we've done. And what we've done is, well, quite a lot of stuff. This is the biggest um, terraforming project that I think we have done here yet. And I'd also say it's the biggest project in general. And this thing took like three days. It took a day to do all the deforestation and then it took two days to build all this. I think I used up like, what, for my calculations, like five or four double chests of dirt and that was fun to mine. Well, at least I have the mending on my shovel. And yeah, it was painful, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is the first time I've done something like this. I have never done anything even close to this size, even on creative. I've always been a more of a small to medium size builder, or small to medium size build builder. And I think I've never in my life done terraforming, or I might have, but it probably wasn't very important. And Totally not at this scale and not at this difficulty. So, yeah, I'm very new to this. So, I think for that it went, well, pretty good. And I've managed to pull off exactly what I wanted. I mainly wanted to smooth this out and look at how well that sits in the terrain. I've managed to still keep some of the features of the terrain, for example this kind of small hill here, and I've managed to add a kind of 
mountain or hill here. But yeah, now this massive mountain we built last episode and um, a few episodes back we built that world. Now this is starting to fit a lot more into the entire landscape. And I love how, how our base fits into this. I kind of didn't like the base at the start actually, but I really like it at this point. I've gotten used to its quirks and I think it's perfect at this point. I'm actually gonna take a screenshot from here because it just looks so good. Yeah, I like this, it looks great, though it may look even better from the side. But also the tunnel that... wait, let me just walk over to it. The tunnel here that we built, I don't know when. I think it was actually between episodes, so that's the thing, but... Oh, and there's a hole here apparently. Also, I think Enderman griefing is off, so that should be fine. But I still have a lot of dirt. I didn't need to gather so much. But this tunnel that we built, who knows when, actually fits into the landscape very well. And I can't wait to have the terraforming go on, then connect that with this, with this waterfall, because that will turn into a river that will flow into this inlet here. But I can't wait to connect it up with that, because it will look so cool with the tunnel in here. And it definitely looked way worse the last time. But yeah, I'm also happy that I can now work on it because there were holes everywhere, like yesterday and the day before that. So, um, yeah, it's good, it's good that we've filled in those holes. And yeah, this was just a massive project. I don't know if I want to terraform the area that way. I might just a bit, but I'll see about that. I don't know, because I don't think this is as rough as this here. It depends on when we get to this. And it also looks kind of good. Yeah, this area actually made me want to live here and make the base. So I think I'll keep it like this. Maybe terraform around it. But yeah, that's that. But I've also chosen a very difficult place to terraform. Because if I were just to build the mountains in the plains, then it would be way less difficult. But I've decided to take this, and now I have to do mass deforestation every time I want to build something. Why am I? I'm not touching my keyboard right now. It's running by itself. And I can't stop. Oh. Well, that's a slight issue. Right, I'm back, and yeah, my keyboard was just stuck. But yeah, now, finally, what should we do now? Well, it may not only be me who thinks that it's looking kind of bland here. And kind of plain here. So, the plan is to... Well, we need to take care of this. We have way too much logs. So, I think the plan is very cut and dry. It's, we need to build trees, because we've done way too much deforestation. I think I'll go into creative for a second, and I'll figure out a cheap design for a tree. And I'll probably go for like spruces, yeah, something like that. But I'm not planning to do the entire place here. Absolutely not, that would be a horrific idea. Because I can't do it. And this episode has already taken me a ton of time. So I think the plan would be to just make some five trees around that lake. Or these lakes, for that matter. But that doesn't matter really now. The main thing is, I want tree, I will build tree. So let me come up with a design. So I have figured out 
what exactly I want to do with the trees and the style I want for them and don't ask why I'm in the chimney. Now let's actually pick out a place first because I haven't done that yet and I think I'll just go here. It's a nice, nice kind of plane here. So first I will craft up a bunch of stuff and I will actually lead you through the process of me building that tree so you can learn if you want. Now let's first start off with the stem here and I'll make all the roots later when this is done but now I think I will take some spruce and I will continue with spruce because one interesting trick is that when there is a kind of gradient of course this isn't a gradient but whenever there is a gradient that goes slowly from dark to light your eyes will be forced into the light area so I'm told and spruce is lighter than dark oak and yeah don't take my word for this though um, I just took it from Hermitcraft but yeah I think we're high enough at this point I'll jump down and let's see yeah this should be good enough maybe a bit too small but that's fine I don't want to do such big trees now I might do one big tree but we'll see and now uh, once the stem is finished let's start adding on the actual branches and I like to start from the top so I don't know why I placed that there actually I think I might have overdone it with this one because the thing is when you add on the leaves they will stretch on one block further than the branches themselves so that's one thing to keep in mind and yeah that's that's looking pretty good from this angle though I will add a branch there they don't have to be perfect of course there can be holes like that it's fine because you won't see them through the leaves for most part yeah now it looks like a dead tree which is what it's meant to look like kind of looks like a chair doesn't it and that should be good now yep that's exactly what I wanted and now comes the second part and that is adding in the leaves and that's usually a bit more difficult than having the branches because it sometimes just doesn't look right so I'll go for, I think I'll just do, and I don't know where I put my, I think I put them here. Yep. I'll go for spruce, and I have no clue how many leaves we will use up, so just take this much. It's not four stacks, or almost four stacks. And the key is to cover up the branches, but to never cover up anything like the main stem because it just doesn't grow from there so i've added the leaves to the tree and i think it went amazingly actually i'm happy with this and yeah it came out perfect i actually didn't even have to go back and redo it so i'm happy with this this is good i'm especially happy with what it looks like from this angle here and it looks kind of rough but it's supposed to look like that so yeah i'm gonna add like two or three trees to this and i'm not even gonna time lapse it because i think there's been enough time lapses now but yeah you'll see them being added Yeah, and I think I did a pretty good job with this. And 
yeah I like this I'll need to at some point get in a different color for the stems and the branches but yeah other than that I like them I guess they kind of look weird at this point as just with those three trees and nothing else but yeah it will look better once the trees are in and I don't think I explained this before we built the trees but I'd like to explain basically what I actually wanted to do with this smoothened out area because I've looked at the before and after images and it may look a bit weird and it may not make sense why I actually did this when you look at the before images which are here and more specifically at the images where the trees are already gone which are here or the only image I have and then you look at this and it kind of seems weird like it doesn't have the glyphs and the chaos of the of everywhere else and I want to explain one thing with this while that does look good how there are cliffs and how it's so rough it just doesn't make sense with what I'm going to be building up there because these cliffs and mountains like this are usually very high up instead low down it's usually way more smooth like this and the hills are usually covered with trees and they are incredibly smooth so they just don't look like that usually unless it's some canyon or something like that but yeah the hills are usually smoother than what that is and since minecraft is on a smaller scale it makes sense that the hills are so steep and that they're so rocky but since we're building on a more realistic scale kind of you can never get realistic with minecraft but you get the point up to like y level 120 130 the hills are like this and you can actually see that essentially what we built last episode and what we built some episodes before that this this wall mountain is essentially what these cliffs are meant to be and it's just that they are way too low for that but things like this things like these cliffs here along the inlet and things like the things that were here back before I put in these smooth mountains well those will come back they will just be a lot higher and a lot more realistic so that's what I wanted to say about that now let's actually focusing back on the trees again yeah I think I like them though one thing I will need to do is use a lot less of those red trees and I'll have to yeah they will have to be very sparse because they are it's a very vibrant color so I don't know, I'll have to make them very sparse, like 1 in 50 trees will be red. But yeah, there will be trees all over this. It looks kind of weird now, but it will look a lot better later. But yeah, nevertheless, I think that would be all for today. What did we do today? Well, we committed a lot of deforestation, probably accelerating global warming by like 20%. Then we basically did some very big front yard landscaping yeah that's that's all we did and then we planted some trees and also one good thing that i wanted to point out is that we finally have this big farm i have pointed it out before but it's really something to finally have food and I haven't planted anything here in the back, apparently. 
But yeah, it's really unusual to have food because since episode, I don't know, was it 7 when there was that failed court case or something? I think it was episode 7. I'm not sure. But yeah, since episode 7 I've had no food because I was only... I think I only actually had the food that I got in early game by killing a bunch of cows and pigs. So then that ran out and I've basically been starving since then. So it's great that I finally expanded the farm and now I have way too much food. I might sell some of that but I'm not sure about that. I might make a cute little bakery at the station. But yeah, with that said, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, maybe subscribe or leave a like or maybe even comment. And yeah, have a great rest of your day and see ya.